up, Red Squad guys? Welcome back to the channel. And it's the 10th episode of my 100 days to the 2018 FIFA World Cup countdown. And as you can tell from the title, this episode is called Uruguay. Four time world champions, one thing in common. The Uruguayan national football team has won a total of four world titles. They won their first title at the 1924 Olympic Games held in France. A total of 22 teams participated at the tournament and this was the first time Uruguay was sending a team to the Olympics and they struck gold. At the 1928 Olympic Games in Netherlands, Uruguay struck gold again, besting the other 16 participants in a tournament which was said to be more competitive than the one in 1924. Uruguay marveled the world in 1924 and 1928. This truly earned them the right to host the first ever credible standalone global football tournament known as the FIFA World Cup. Uruguay hosted the World Cup in 1930. They went on to win the inaugural event, defeating their bitter rivals and neighbors Argentina 4-2 in the finals. Uruguay were indeed world champions, winning three consecutive global events in the space of six years. Uruguay declined to participate in the 1934 World Cup and also in the 1938 World Cup. The 1942 and the 1946 World Cups were canceled because of World War II. Or else, maybe Uruguay would have went on to win three or four or even five world championships on the bounce. You never know. The FIFA World Cup returned to the South American continent in 1950. Uruguay were excited. Brazil hosted the tournament and the Uruguayans went on to win it after defeating Brazil in the final match of the tournament 2-1. Uruguay went on to win a fourth world championship, reclaiming the crown the Italians had wore in their absence. Four-time world champions, one thing in common. An Afro-Uruguayan by the name of Jose Leandro Andrade was part of the team that won gold at the 1924 and the 1928 Olympic Games and also part of the team that lifted the first ever FIFA World Cup. Nicknamed the Black Marvel, he was one of the finest footballers the world had ever seen. He was also the first black international player to play the sport of football at the Olympic level. The midfielder was simply the linchpin of the most successful team Uruguay has ever assembled. To this day, Jose Leandro Andrade's honors include three South American championships in 1923, 1924, and 1926. Two Olympic gold medals in 1924 and 1928, and one World Cup title. Only one other man from outside of Uruguay has ever matched his feet, and it's the legend Pele, who has won three World Cup titles. But wait, I'm not done yet. Let's talk about Uruguay's second World Cup title and fourth world title in all. Jose Leandro Andrade's nephew, Victor Rodriguez Andrade, was part of the winning squad that lifted the 1950 World Cup title. Awesome! Four world titles, one thing in common, Andrade. Victor Rodriguez Andrade also took part in the 1954 World Cup where Uruguay placed fourth, losing in the semis to the mighty Hungarians and losing the third place playoff match to Austria. Since 1954, the Uruguayan national football team has only placed top four on two occasions, once in 1970 and then in controversial fashion at the 2010 World Cup. So I think I have found a key to Uruguay winning the World Cup title again. Scour all throughout Uruguay, find the finest footballer with the last name Andrade, put him in the World Cup squad, make sure he's in the team picture as well, and voila, a World Cup title might just appear. 
hair. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the 10th episode of my 100 days to the 2018 FIFA World Cup countdown. Uruguay, four-time world champions, one thing in common, Jose, Leandro, Andrade, and Victor Rodriguez, Andrade. Guys, history, history for you, legendary black Afro Uruguayan footballers. I didn't know much about these players. I learned a lot from making this video, and I hope you did too. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button, leave any video ideas in the comment section down below. I just might do it. And until next time, peace out. Rich Squad! And as you can tell from the title, this episode is called Uruguay Four Time Champions One Thing in Common. At the 1928 Olympic Games, Uruguay went unbeaten at the 1924 and 1928 Olympic Games. This truly earned them the right to host the first ever global This earned them the right to host the first truly stat This earned them the right to earn the first ever credible standalone global football event now known as the FIFA. Uruguay went on to win a fourth world championship. Rique was part of the team that won the 1924, 1928, and the 1930 FIFA World Cup and Olympic Games. Nicknamed the Black Marvel, he was the finest footballer the world had ever seen. Nicknamed the Black Marvel, he was also the first black international player to play the sport at the Olympic Games. The midfielder was simply the linchpin of the most successful teams. The, the midfielder was... So maybe if Uruguay would want to return to the... So I think I have found the... So I think I have found the solution to Uruguay winning the World Cup title again. If you want to win the...